Hi, I'm Mark Ciano. And I'm Opal Peachy. Thank you for visiting the Kickstarter for Seattle Vice. Right now, Opal and I are creating a brand new cabaret musical to be performed at ACT Theater in March and April of this year. You could do all sorts of things in the clubs that you really can't do now. Certain things that we can't necessarily talk about in a Kickstarter video. You know, the bullet was a speakeasy, mm -hmm. you know, in the days. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, there is, from what I understand, seven exits. You could clear the place in about a minute. You know, we have the theaters upstairs and then we have the bullet, you know, that is just like kind of right there in the genitals, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this was a place that was pretty notorious as, as an old brothel or bordello, yeah. right? You, but maybe not necessarily as a bordello, but they certainly had some prostitutes, that's for sure. See, the Eagle started by people that couldn't get into the other clubs. Mm -hmm. So they formed their, their, their own club, right? Mm -hmm. And the parties here, upon what I understand, were like superb. We all kind of look at it as nice and tidy Seattle, you know? <laughs> but man, no! Twenty girls unclothed marching in strict choreography I saw their needs exposed Why in the hell should we do this for free? They need someone to lead the way Say it's okay There are 17 people involved in the ensemble and one of the reasons we cast so many people was because we wanted our audience to be able to really feel immersed in the world of 1965 Seattle. Uh, when I came to Seattle in 1966, uh, it was a rough, open port city that had very much the flavor that I think it always had up until that point, until it got developed and changed by people of your generation <laughs> uh, earlier. And I'm hoping to encourage your generation to become more uh, filthy. This theater has a real history. It was built in 1925. Uh, Prohibition was still in action and it became a place uh, where illicit activity could happen, where illicit drinking could happen. Uh, the Bullet Cabaret had its own entrance from the street. Um, and at various times, as the building sort of fell into disrepair, strange inhabitants moved in. Prostitutes and various other kinds of folk. So it has a rich history of antisocial behavior. And of course, criminal behavior is fun. And, <laughs> and theater, in a sense, is criminal behavior. <laughs> so I think it's a great thing to honor. Not only are we going to do a a great show that's only about 90 minutes long mm -hmm. but as soon as the show's over the band's gonna keep playing mm -hmm. so we're gonna actually host the after party you're gonna be able to get a drink you're gonna be able to watch a show you're gonna be able to have a dance by yourself or with someone in the audience you're gonna dance to the band flirt with someone you've never met before it's gonna be that kind of show it's gonna be a little bit of a party now we are looking to raise eight thousand dollars to make Seattle Vice a proper old-fashioned style cabaret one more guest artists are paid per gig and compensated in a timely manner. Now producing quality theater of this scale is extremely expensive and the margins are razor thin. <gasps> razor thin margins? That sounds terrifying! What does it mean, Mark? It means that even if we were to sell out every single performance, we would barely cover our production cost, especially in a unionized professional theater like ACT Theater where it's more expensive to produce, but it's worth it because it has to happen here. So give us all your money in unmarked bills in a paper bag, just like the bribes of old. Online will work just fine too. So even though the show's happening at ACT Theater, know that your donations don't go to that institution, they go directly to this project, more specifically to compensating our talented and very devoted ensemble of performers. We're doing it for the love of it, but money is important. We have several great rewards for your donation and hope that you decide to become a part of Seattle Vice. Thank you so much. God, don't heed their lies Oh, you and me, girl, we could be so nice I will melt you with words just like whiskey on ice I'm your man <laughs>